happy birthday to me. Omash, why the freak are you singing to yourself? No one does that. What is up, Omash Nation? How are you doing today? Yes, today is my birthday. I am officially old. <laughs> I turned 30 years old today, and let me tell you, I would not rather be any other place than right here, right now, with you guys, with the Omash Nation, to celebrate. You guys all saw the thumbnail. We are opening so many packs today. I'm so stoked. Hopefully, we pull some crazy things because we have birthday luck on our side guys let's just quickly run through everything we have a gift from a friend with this champions path box I didn't have the pins and so he gifted it to me so nice we have hidden fates classic we have this tin that might have like some black and white and early XY packs we'll find out we have XY evolutions to open hopefully we pull some Zards we have vivid voltage to open as well a full booster box plus we have vintage this Meowth Tops Tin, back from the 1999, I wanna say, maybe early 2000s, but this thing is crazy, guys. So cool, we'll check it all out later, but we have so many things to open and so many packs to just crack open. And guys, for my birthday and for some good luck, you know the deal, hit that luck button. And if this is your first time here, guys, welcome to the Omash Nation, I really appreciate you. And if you wanna join the fam, hit that subscribe button and enjoy the fun times we have ahead. Guys, I am right there in the chat with you. Maybe over there. <laughs> so feel free to ask any questions and we're just gonna have a good time while we pull some crazy things. You're all awesome and I'm so stoked for the first premiere video here at Omash. Maybe if this goes well and is super fun, we can do a lot more of it. All right guys, everything is unpacked. Here are some code cards for you guys. Hopefully you pull some fire and get some of the birthday luck. That would be super cool. And we're gonna start this epic video with Champion's Path, guys. That pin box that I just never could get my hands on. We got two new pins that I need, very nice. Once again, I love that they throw in pins of the gym leaders in Champion's Path, super cool. And the two promos that came with this, very nice to have. The Machamp and the Gengar, really that Gengar art is so cool. <laughs> Love it so much. And that this box is from Ulysses, guys. He's an awesome friend, has his own channel. I starred in his podcast, my very first podcast ever, and it was a blast. So you'll have to check him out. His stuff is in the description. And I believe he has a giveaway going on right now. But yeah, he gifted us this for my birthday. He only lives like 20 minutes away. And so super nice of him seriously he did not need to do it and I'm probably gonna pull a Charizard because Ulysses has the most insane luck in the world. <laughs> I swear all he can pull are the big chase cards of every single set. Roly Coley, Gardevoir V full art, first pack magic <laughs> right there. Super nice, I will take that. One of the better full arts to get. Starting this opening off strong. Love me some birthday magic. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we have so many things going on today. I'm so excited and I cannot believe that I'm 30. We're gonna be reminiscing and talking about the future and just having a good time while we open some packs. Marnie. But yeah, I figure we start with Champion's Path because last week we officially pulled every single card in the set. And so anything Champion's Path uh, is just a bonus for us at this point. So thought we'd get out of the way because really, too many things to open. I think after this we'll open that tin, my Champion's Path right there. Um, and yeah, just have a good time. I do also have some random uh, two packs of Dragon, Dragon Majesty, which I don't know too much about. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to that card? Holy cow. Um, but I know there's a sick Dragonite card you can pull in there, so we'll go for that, open that up, and yeah, we're just gonna open everything, guys. I even have extra Hatterene, 
extra um, evolutions and champions path packs if we really need to get crazy. Um, just depends on how long all this takes and what we pull. <laughs> because if we don't pull really anything too crazy, then I might just need to go a little crazy and get some extra packs. Professor's Research, well out of those packs, we pulled a very nice Gardevoir. Thank you, Uly Ulysses, for that crazy gift. Really appreciate it. And now, on to, let's open these Dragon Majesty. I've never opened them on the channel unless they were like randomly thrown in a tin or something. So don't know what to expect, but it's a set full of Dragon cards, guys. Don't know if there's a green code or white code with this. But let's, let's just sit back and enjoy some nice artwork. Lapras, Salazzle, Quagsire, Heatmore, Kangaskhan, Litten, Horsey, Darumaka, Corsola, Zygarde, Reverse, and we got Fraligator. That's a nice looking hollow card. Reprint from the Neo eras. Very cool, I will take that. And now we got the Salamence pack art. Uh, I bought a box where it came with five packs, but I bought it because I wanted to grade the Charizard and the Dragonite packs. Um, because I'm just into grading packs now. As you can see in the back, we uh, got the big three base set artworks right there. Gem Mint 10, last week's video. Super sweet. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm just all into packs. Swablu, Corsola, what? We pulled a Hyper Rare out of one of the packs, the Reshiram GX Rainbow. Let's go. Wasn't expecting that whatsoever. Beautiful card, very nice Reshiram. Unfortunately, it was not in the Reshiram pack, <laughs> but I will take that. Very cool. That will be getting graded for sure. Look at that, guys. We pulled a full art and a rainbow already. Yeah. Birthday luck coming in strong. <laughs> now let's go with that tin. So the person I bought it from, I was told that it was from like 2014 and that it might contain some flash fire and like some black and white packs. Uh, Cause he did find a YouTube video of an opening of it, but <laughs> it was definitely wrong. It was a modern, more modern tin. We got two XY evolutions and then a Fates Collide and a Steam Siege. So definitely uh, probably overpaid for this tin but it's okay. We got two evolutions packs at least. That's a, <laughs> that's a fun set. Maybe we'll pull some fire out of here, but if not, sometimes you just bite the dust. X, Y, right? Three? Um, and you know, it happens. I'm not mad. He found uh, a video, showed it to me, and it looked fine. <laughs> so I was like, whatever. Foom Goose, Chandelure Hollow. Hey, we got a hollow. Fates Collide is next. But yeah, unfortunately, I was kind of excited for some flash fire and hey, we got a white code. I'll take it. Um, what's it called? Black and white packs, because I've never opened any of those sets or uh, packs before, but it's okay. Unfortunately, not everything went well on the birthday. Energy pouch and another hollow, <laughs> Del Fox. I'll take it. These packs are just getting older and older, guys. Really, um, with modern cards, it's, uh, oh yes. Didn't show the code card. Um, modern cards, the hollows are like worth nothing. It might as well just be bulk. But I wonder if eventually the normal hollows will kind of raise in price, just like vintage. B drill reverse rare, I'll take it. A double B drill. <laughs> <laughs> how, uh, how often does that happen? Why couldn't it be a double Charizard? In my lifetime of pack openings, I've only seen one pack opened anyway. I'm sure it's happened several times where uh, a pack contained the reverse Charizard and the hollow Charizard in one pack. Absolutely crazy. Switch and oh, number full art number two, the Mewtwo, one of the best ones. Honestly, this artwork is insane. I absolutely love it. Such a power stance right there, guys. Wow, we are killing it right now with the full arts. 
Man, what a good opening. I will take that 100%. The centering looks really good, actually. Um, yeah, guys, that is a solid card. XY Evolutions is just getting known to being hard to grade. So now we're gonna, let's just keep on going with the XY Evolutions. We got the Mega Blastoise ETB. Um, and we will see if we can pull anything good. I haven't had the best luck with the ETBs, but it's okay. At least we got a Pikachu right here. Very nice artwork. So nostalgic. Star U, Onyx, Weedle, Machop, Beedrill. <laughs> Coming back to haunt us. Oh, no way. <laughs> the odds of what just happened are so low. I cannot believe that. What? Two double B drill packs in a row. What kind of madness is that? Man, guys. <laughs> so crazy. But yeah, I am now 30. I've officially old Raticate and Arcanine. Um, but it's been an awesome year. Even though 2020 has been crazy and pretty bad for the most part, plenty of bad things happened. So many good things did, guys. If I look back at my 29th year of living, so many crazy and good things happened. The most important one to me anyway is that I became a dad. We had our baby back in February, my little precious Asher boy, and we love him so much. And I've, I've talked about this before, but I've always wanted to be a dad. And so the fact that it finally happened back in February completely changed my world for the better. Love my boy, Pidgeot Spirit Link. Another Electro, two in a row. But it's all good because we're about to pull some fire. Uh, this is just a, you know, slow opening ETB. <laughs> All the fires in the back. If not, we might need to get another one later. But yeah, I became a dad. It's been so fun learning how to be a parent and working with my wife to just figure things out because really that's what you gotta do sometimes. Just figure it out. Cause really, what parent knows right off the bat how to be a good parent? <laughs> you just don't. Ooh, I will take, th hey, look at this guys. Hollow Bleed Mew. These hollow bleeds are awesome because of the hollow pattern in XY Evolutions is absolutely crazy. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but you can see it right here going back and forth. That is awesome. Unfortunately, the uh, <laughs> centering is very off, but I will take that hollow bleed all day long. Probably gonna get it graded. Yeah, let's just stick it in the sleeve right now because I really like the hollow bleed cards. I believe PSA treats it as an error. Um, like a disqualification thing when it comes to the grade, but in all reality, I think they're sick. Like I would much rather have a hollow bleed card because <laughs> I think they're cool. We're getting plenty of Pikachus though. Another big thing guys saying true, Doug Trio. We, 2020, or 2020 was my first official year on YouTube and my 29th year of living was filled with YouTube, ups and downs, content creation, interacting with you guys, the Omash Nation, making new friends, collecting Pokemon, opening, po opening Pokemon, just the YouTube life, creator life. <laughs> and seriously, it's been awesome. It, it has definitely helped me just keep going with um, 2020 because it's so fun making content for you guys. I'm opening Pokemon cards, something I love 100%, have such a passion for, and yeah, it's just helped me get going. Charmander, love the artwork there. Weedle, and our last Evolutions pack for now is Zapdos Hollow. I will take that, and this one does not have the Hollow Bleed, so interesting. But my favorite card as a kid, Zapdos from base, so awesome, my favorite bird. XY Evolution's done. And now guys, Hidden Fates is back. We got four packs, not the most, but I did like the birds. Times three, I won't say it three times for you, and a Charizard pack. Like literally, what could be better when it came, comes to the packs and the Omash Nation? 
Can't go wrong with some The Birds. And really, it's been so long since we've opened Hidden Fates. What if on my birthday we finally pulled that elusive Charizard? Not expecting it, but you never know what could happen. <laughs> Let's get some shiny luck here. Shiny hunting for uh, the shiny from the shiny vault. We got Ekins, Sabrina's suggestion, and a Butterfree. No first pack magic there. But hopefully we get a cup a baby shiny and at least one full art shiny. This was a tin from the older tins. It was not the most recent reprint. Um, and so that that was good news to me because I have not had luck with the reprint tins. <laughs> but we will see if this one is a good one. Pokemon Center Lading Electrode. We're about to come on, birds. You gotta give us something good here. Um, what was I saying though? about YouTube 2020. My first year here on YouTube has been awesome. Literally the best adventure journey that I could be doing right now. And I'm excited to keep on doing it. There are literally no signs of me, unless we pull nothing, <laughs> uh, quitting YouTube. It's just too much fun and really it's the Pokemon community and everything is just the best. That is the best way to put it. It's the best being a part of the community and just interacting with all of you guys. I wouldn't trade it for the world. And so that's been awesome. Let's see, what other 2020? Oh, we just got the worst tin in like all history. <laughs> but it's all good guys, it's all good. We're here to be positive. And now let's, let's do this, bad boy. I gotta zoom out here for this one. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Look how big this tin is. A Topps Meowth tin back from 1999, I think, maybe early 2000s. The tin itself is awesome, guys. So vintage and nostalgic. And man, this is awesome. Nintendo Topps. Does that have the year in here? No, uh, maybe that one, 1999. But I'm excited. I've not opened this yet. Just took off the wrapping. And I've never opened Topps cards before. Even when I was a kid, I never opened them. <laughs> but here we go. Oh, what is going on here? Some styrofoam to protect the packs. What the heck just happened here? What a bad way to package things up, guys. <laughs> Very interesting. We got some tops packs. Look at, oh, I gotta zoom back in. $1.99. I wish that's what all these cost. And then we get our big full, Five of five, the Meowth Chrome, uh, what is this called? I think it's, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but that is sick. We can put that as good luck right there. Very nice, guys. I'm excited for these top uh, packs, because like I said, I've never opened them before, and they're vintage, and so you can't go wrong with that. We got seven packs, and I believe each one does come with a foil. Now, I've watched plenty of openings of this because of these are vintage. I'm gonna take it slow here, make sure I save the packs well. So I, I like to keep all the packs. We'll see if these are all stuck together. Oh, Parasect is the last one there. Look at this, guys. Tops vintage cards. I never thought I'd open these on the channel. I love it, though. Hey, they're not sticking together. Very cool. Oh, I, I love this, guys. Graveler right there with the rocks in the background as well. So nice. Some of these are sticking together, so we'll have to be careful. Mutt Shop, very nice. Now Tops came out at the same time as the normal TCG. Golduck, I believe we're getting to our hollow, and it just did not do well. <laughs> All of us kids back in the 90s were like, what the heck is this? Knock off Pokemon cards. Arbok, not too shabby. And so, I don't even know I remember seeing them as a kid, but I don't remember like ever being excited to open them. Pidgeotto, I will take that all day long. Oh, uh, I guess. Oh, Charmander, that's a hit. We will take that one, very nice. And really, all these cards are looking clean, guys. The problem with tops is they usually stick to each other just because of the material they're made. Um, and so it's really hard to get like good condition tops cards, but these are looking great. And then that Parasect was the last hollow. <laughs> Definitely not the hollow we want, but hey, it's a vintage hollow. We will set that back there. We got that Charmander though. That is solid to get. Any starter card, vintage starter, 
awesome hit. And we're just gonna keep going with this, guys. That was super fun, uh, but yeah. Tops was a bust back in the 90s. No one wanted them. They were just like the knockoff um, of Pokemon. And even us kids back then knew it. <laughs> I, I never, I don't, I don't know anyone who like was actively wanting Tops cards. Uh, I guess if, we're, if that's the back card, maybe we'll, for the next ones, we'll uh, turn it around so the foil doesn't get spoiled for us. These ones are sticking a little more. Paris, we just pulled you. Clough Fairy, very nice. Ooh, that's a good one. Look at that Raichu card, so awesome. Guys, we can pull Charizards here. Oh, we got a big starter, the Venusaur. So awesome, I will take that all day long. The backs of these cards are awesome too, guys. Way better than the normal Pokemon backs, in my opinion. I just like having more info, more pictures, whatever. Pidgeot! We got the Pidgeotto and the Pidgeot. Very nice, I'll take it. The Ekans. <laughs> Snake backwards. We got, oh, a Ninetales. Beautiful, very beautiful. And then we already know the Clefairy is the hollow for this pack. Woo! Beautiful! Really, these hollows are looking good. All these cards are looking good too. Maybe I might just have to get all of them graded. Wow, guys, this is so much fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. You don't see tops too much. Um, and yeah, just because they were kind of a bust when they first came out does not mean people don't like them now. They're still vintage and they're still really hard to get and I think they're super fun. Obviously, yeah, we're gonna do this way, right? Yes, we don't know what the hollow is in the back. Very nice Beedrill right there though. Obviously the normal Pokemon uh, TCG is still way better than Tops, but a lot of people are still active. Oh, there is a big boy, Charizard pull. Very nice. I will take that all day long, guys. Look at this. That card looks very nice too. Everything about it looks nice. Oh yes. Oh, this is awesome, Charizard pull, baby! Oh, that's so sick. What is this card? What the heck? Gotta catch them all, official trading cards. What? I got ripped off! Although this card's pretty sick, because look at all the Pokemon in there. Plus you got the crew, original crew and Jesse and James. I'll take that card. That is just the set list there. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. I'll probably grade that. Victory Bell! Guys, this is so fun. I, maybe I need some more tops things. Oddish, very nice, and we're coming on the hollow. Ooh, after a Growlithe. I love Growlithe and Arcanine so much. <gasps> oh man, these cards just keep tricking me. Abra, very nice. An Abra card where Abra is actually not sitting down. Noted, right there. <laughs> and the hollow is. Oh, we got the Beedrill. Once again, Beedrill coming to haunt us. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Beedrill is fine with me. Guys, we still got plenty of packs. We've pulled the Venusaur. We pulled the Charizard. I believe you can pull a hollow Charizard and that thing's worth a lot of money. It would be absolutely crazy if we were to pull it. Uh, we gotta pull it out this way, huh? There we go, Weeping Bell with some uh, sludge. Is that the tech he's using right there? Very nice. Really, I can't get over how well these cards um, are. So nice, they're not sticking together at all. Hey, we just de-evolved. <laughs> Very cool. Ooh, that's a cool Pikachu card right there. He's ready to fight. TV number 25 Pikachu. I wonder if that's a rare card. Hey, we got two TV ones in a row. Guys, this has to be good, right? I mean, the prices will be on the screen, but look at that, Pikachu. I'll set that right back there. We got classic Professor Oak being all smart. And then, what is that? We're getting all these TV cards in a row. <laughs> Such a random little Geodude and the Hollow for the, what, what? Am I getting tricked? Misty, very nice, this one's the Hollow. Take that all day long. A very nice Raichu Hollow. <laughs> that is awesome. Guys, if you are enjoying this opening, hit that like button. Number 26, very cool. Guys, this tin is killing it right now. Woo, this is so much fun. We still have three packs left too. 
And then after that, don't even worry guys, we're opening a complete booster box of Vivid Voltage. <laughs> Such a big opening. I had to spoil myself a little for my birthday, you know. Ooh, Nido Queen. I love Nido Queen. Definitely one of my favorite start uh, Pokemon. De, de evolution right there once again. Do we have some de evolution devolution spray going on? Metabod. <laughs> hey, that was actually a pretty good uh, impersonation. What is going on? We're just de evolving this whole pack. Polyrath, love to see that. Very nice. <gasps> Oh, we got an Arcanine, one of my favorite Pokemon, my second favorite Pokemon, to be exact. Love this so much, and the Hollow, I think. Nope, we got faked out once again, gold back card. The Hollow, though, no way! What? We pulled the Hollow Charizard, guys, look at that! Oh, baby! Oh, I have no idea how rare this is. I need to go check it out, but we got the non-holo version and we just pulled the holo Charizard. Woo! And guys, this looks awesome. Again, these cards are in such good condition. Literally look perfect. Oh my gosh. I did not expect this at all. Birthday luck, look at that pose. Classic Charizard. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, guys, that is epic. Birthday luck in the house. Let's go. I'm just spinning all over the place too. Wow, guys, there might be a little tiny bend there at the top. I don't know. But guys, that is epic. We got two Charizards in this tin. Let's go, and we still have two packs left. Woo! This tops opening is killing it. Absolutely killing it. Two Charizards, yeah, baby. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, and it just keeps on going. We got all three of the big starters. Blastoise right there. So cool, so happy. Wow, this is awesome. Butterfree, love seeing that. Look at that background. It's like a 3D craziness going on. Oh, that's so awesome. Nidoran, <laughs> very basic. Jigglypuff, very cool. Look guys, green eyes. Is this a shiny Jigglypuff? I wonder if that's just like an error. Firo, very cool, very nice. We got a Rattata, <laughs> literally the worst. <gasps> Ooh, Ivysaur, very nice, I'll take that. We still need a Charmander and a Bulbasaur. We don't have Squirtle yet either. No, we got the Charmander, we need a Bulbasaur and a Squirtle, that's what I'm talking about. And this card, oh, just a Nidoran, all right, no worries. We pulled that Charizard, that's probably easily the best card in the set. Guys, if you're in the chat right now, you have to let me know if I'm correct with that. Why would it not be the best card in the set, right? Here we go, last pack of our Vintage Tops opening for my birthday, my little splurge that I got for us today. Geodude, uh, really, out of these seven packs, we've opened so many, uh, gotten so many cards. We haven't even gotten like duplicates. <laughs> Super fun. Meowth TV card, Kadabra. They officially announced Kadabra is coming back to the TCG. Huge news, super fun. Everyone loves Kadabra. Primeape, very nice. And we got a Gloom. I think we're coming up to the Hollow here soon. Ooh, a Vulpix, very nice, classic card. And the last card of the crazy tin we just opened. Oh, very nice, we got a Gold Duck Hollow. I will take that all day long. Seriously guys, all of these are so awesome. I have to for sure get all these um, hollows sleeved up. What is going on, freaking cards? Penny sleeve? <laughs> Being difficult here. Guys, that was epic. I did not expect any of that to happen with um, this Tops tin but that was so much fun. Literally might need to go and buy some more Tops things cause oh, these cards are sick. And really, I think we seriously lucked out with the condition of these cards. Cause like I said, every opening I've seen pretty much, they all stick together. But look at this guys. The non holo and the holo Charizard. So epic. And this last Pikachu card here is so cool I think. So sweet. Love a good action-posed Pikachu. Man, 
So much fun, guys. Let me just leave all this up before we continue so that I'm not wasting your time. Guys, I just checked because I had to stop the camera because, you know, you can only record for like 30 minutes. As we look through the polls, uh, the bigger polls of the Topps cards, the Charizard in a PSA 10 is going for a few thousand dollars. <laughs> that is insane! We just pulled one of the best cards in the whole set. And we got both versions, the hollow and the non-hollow. Oh my gosh, guys. But these tops cards are extremely hard to get a 10 in. So I'm not expecting it whatsoever. But that was awesome. Absolutely loved that. I want so many more tins right now as we start getting into this vivid voltage booster box. Can our birthday luck continue? Can we pull the chonky Pikachu right here, right now? That would be absolutely insane. From what I've been seeing, this Pikachu is very elusive. Uh, I think it's like one out of every two or three cases to pull the Pikachu or one out of 1200 packs. That is nuts. <laughs> so much money to get the Pikachu. If you're not into opening uh, Pokemon cards, then it would 100% be worth thinking just to buy the card. If you want the rainbow Pikachu and don't want to try your luck, then just buy it. <laughs> Save yourself a lot of money. Pick a peck, Lucario. But yeah, it's a beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful. And we'll see what we pull today. Hopefully this is a good booster box because it's my birthday and only good things happen on birthdays, right? <laughs> I mean, that's that's what we hope. But man, I still, I can't get over that Charizard pull. I wonder what like the pull rates are for a card like that. Obviously it's really hard. I assume it's hard to pull. It's a Charizard, <laughs> but freak. I'm excited to get all these graded. Big opening, big pulls. We've been doing pretty good guys and it's all thanks to you. So thank you for being here. Thanks for hitting that luck button. Jirachi, the, still the best amazing rare to get. I will take that and a Xerneas Hollow. Very nice, amazing rare pull. Let's sleeve this guy up. Beautiful card, guys. I just love amazing rares. I think they look so cool. Even though they aren't rare, they're beautiful and I love them. So keep them coming, Pokemon. Now, the big news with Pokemon, just, you know, going along with that, keep the amazing rares coming. They are. <laughs> We've seen them in Shiny Star V, the Kyogre, Yveltal, and Reshiram amazing rares. Beautiful cards. Shuckle, Colossal V, very nice. I will take that. Um, what's it called? Oh, they, they are releasing more of those, uh, more amazing rares, so I'm excited about that. I wonder what else, what other sets they're gonna uh, release amazing rares in. Hopefully it just continues forever, because really they're one of my favorite uh, things. Ooh, another Charizard, reverse slot. I will take that, even though it's off center. And a Lycanroc, very nice hit. Man, guys, we're just pulling all the Charizards. I kind of want to open another uh, Elite Trainer box because what if we just pull a Charizard? We're, the Charizard hunt is definitely, or luck, is definitely on our side right now. And so I'm feeling it. Plus, I'm really just enjoying being here with you guys. And so why not Drapion? <laughs> I think I might actually need that for the binder. Why not just keep on opening packs and having a good time? I mean, I took the day off just so I could sit and chat with you guys as long as I wanted. And so yeah, after this, depending, let's do this. If we don't pull the Pikachu, let's uh, let's get more packs. <laughs> but if we do pull the Pikachu, might need to stop because how long can good luck last? Uh, I just don't know. I seriously don't know. But uh, coming up, Next year, guys, 25th anniversary, things are going to get heated in the Pokemon space. Everyone already knows about Shiny. Hey, our first Pikachu V here at Omash. <laughs> it took so long to pull this guy, but it's a beautiful card. Love that artwork. Very nice, going straight in the binder. We all know about Shining Fates. It's gonna be huge. It's basically what uh, Shiny Star V is, just in English coming out in the end of February 
on the, uh, I want to say the 25th anniversary date of Pokemon itself, which is epic. But um, we were told Leon Hollow, nice. That, at least this is a rumor, I'm pretty sure it's kind of well known now that Shining Fates is not, and I repeat, is not the 25th anniversary set. Like Evolutions was the 20th anniversary set, but uh, supposedly Shining Fates isn't. And if you think about it, XY Evolutions was the last set of the XY series. Gosh, this pack. <laughs> and, um, you know, I assume that that means the set or the pack was the series, sorry. <laughs> no, gosh, I'm just twisting my tongue here. <laughs> the set was released near the end of the year. Uh, I'm just assuming that. Don't know if that's 100% true. But if that's the case, then it's perfectly normal that Pokemon won't uh, release their 25th anniversary set right on the release or the anniversary date. But that's really exciting to hear. Obviously, everyone's gonna love Shining Fates. It's already get, going crazy with the pre-orders and everything. Um, we can talk about that a little more later. But if that is not the 25th anniversary set, from Pokemon, then what could the 25th anniversary set be? Tons of speculation and wants <laughs> being talked about. For the longest time, everyone wants a Neo reprint since, very nice Electrode. Hey, a full art number one, the Ampharos. I do not have this yet and that is beautiful. I will take that. Oh, Ampharos being one of my favorite Johto Pokemon. So cool. Love the electricity in the back of the card. That is a beautiful card. One I don't have as well. This box is going really well for my binder. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, since Evolutions was kind of like a base set reprint, uh, everyone is wanting a Neo reprint and that would be absolutely insane, guys. Can you freaking imagine the Neo Lugia in a reprint? Oh man, I'm telling you, the world would go nuts. Way crazier than any set that all these scalpers are getting their hands on right now. So, <laughs> be ready for just craziness, guys. We have a full year, basically, to celebrate 25 years of Pokemon. Such a big milestone, so cool, it's gonna be awesome, and, whoa and it's gonna wreck all of our wallets. So please, <laughs> be smart out there with your money and don't go crazy buying all the things because it's gonna be really easy to. I'm kinda nervous. I'm gonna have to start saving and um, allotting money here and there now. <laughs> but with a YouTube channel, you're kind of never on top. Um, unless Until you start getting big and making a lot of money from YouTube. Pokemon is just so expensive that, you know, it's hard, it's hard to be on top <laughs> when it comes to uh, being a Poketuber. Obviously, this is all my money, and yeah, a couple months ago we did get monetized, but that does not mean I'm making any money. <laughs> uh, with YouTube, it you can take your payouts from the ads every $100. Um, that is the minimum requirement to pull funds from YouTube, and I have not hit that yet. <laughs> Just being completely transparent and honest with you guys. So it does take a little while, and yeah, very nice electrode. Seriously, that artwork is brilliant. So yeah, guys, hopefully we continue to grow. I'm 100% happy with the growth of the channel. Uh, when I started a little over a year ago, I did not think for a second we would be at almost 3,000 subscribers just a little over a year. Um, I never thought I'd get to 1,000, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> and so the fact that we're just growing and growing, it's so awesome, love seeing it, and it just gives me more motivation 
to keep on working hard to make content and just grow the channel, guys. It would be absolutely crazy if one day Omash, the Omash Nation, could be very nice, Zeraora, as big as like a Leonhart or Enlisted Leaf or Pokerev. Pokerev is blowing up right now. So happy for him. He's a he's a good friend. Uh, but yeah. It's, it's hard to see that happening just because it is difficult to um, grow here on YouTube. Like, it's really hard. A lot of people don't understand it, but it is what it is. I'm going to move this pile over because it's getting tall. Um, but yeah, we've, I've talked plenty about it. <laughs> we don't need to dive into it anymore. I can't even... We've pulled the full art. We've pulled a couple V's. And I think that's it. So we still need some V maxes. We still probably need another full art at least. Um, possibly another amazing rare. Although we did, there it is! <laughs> right as we were talking about it. Very nice Zamazenta, amazing rare. And a Zara Aura, very cool. I will sleeve this guy up. Seriously love every single one of these cards and I am send them all to get graded. Very nice there, very nice. <laughs> Funny, <laughs> I sleeve up the amazing rare, but I forget to sleeve up the uh, the Amphros. I don't know what's going on in my head, guys. Just too many packs being opened right now, and just having too much fun with you. Man, I just looked over at my our Hidden Fates pile, and that was just a bust. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just what it was, a complete bust. Three hollows and a Starmie GX. Galvantula, Clefable. But yeah, hopefully this booster box uh, kind of blows up here soon. If we are lucky, we will pull a rainbow or a gold. I am yet to see both being in one box, although I do know that's possible. But yeah, you just never know. Charmander, Wooper, Meowth, Whalmer, or Beetle V. I'll take it. So yeah, guys, uh, this... What are we at? Close to, whoa, this pack, come on. We're getting close to like 40 minutes in uh, video time. Definitely one of my longest videos ever, <laughs> but it's for a special occasion and I'm right here with you in the chat. So it's it's seriously been a blast. I might need to go get more. Go goat, Garbador. But let's see, future. So we've talked a little bit of the past. I've loved being 29 and I cannot wait to be 30. Guys, later tonight my parents are taking me and my wife to Ruth's Chris to celebrate. Seriously, the best steak in the world that I've had anyway. Go! Darmanitan VMAX, very nice. I still need this guy so I'm happy. If, uh, if it was a duplicate, like an Age of Slash, <laughs> I'd be a little upset. But I will take that VMAX because I don't have it yet. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for the dinner tonight. Just very nice celebration dinner. Birthday dinner from the parents. What can go wrong? Nothing. <laughs> it's just a good time. And really, other than that, Berserker, my wife has some sort of surprise planned uh, this weekend. We're going to go somewhere, do some stuff. I don't even know. So can't tell you more about that. But yeah, I'm excited. That's just the quick birthday celebrations. 30 though, I'm stoked. Like, people as they get older, they just get more and more depressed. <laughs> Cause it is sad, but I'm, I'm positive guys. I'm going for it all. I'm making my 30s the best years of my life. I mean, it's gonna be so fun family wise. Uh, my family will hopefully just keep on growing and we're gonna have little kids just growing up and starting their activities and Figuring out what they are interested in and practicing and just all that I cannot wait to go through that with my son and any future kids we might have and So I'm pumped about that I have seriously let myself go when it comes to the fitness <laughs> realm of my life. And so 30, we're changing that, guys. Charmeleon, very nice. We're getting back in shape. I, I've i always been afraid of not being able to participate in um, activities and stuff with my kids because of old age or body problems or, you know, whatever it might be. And so... I need to flip that switch. 
when I am gonna flip that switch, we're getting back in shape and it's gonna be a good time. I wanna get back into volleyball. A lot of you guys might not know that um, me and my wife, huge into volleyball. We both played collegiately and it's a, it's been and is a huge part of our life, but since we've been married, we kind of stopped <laughs> playing as much. Like there was a time where I was playing six times a week for hours every single day like it was it was bad <laughs> but you know adult life takes over Ooh, nice hollow where are all the hits guys this booster box is almost done um and there's just not there's no time it's really hard to find time nowadays but yeah I want to get back into playing more volleyball because it's just a blast absolutely love it and that goes along with my fitness side just giving you know, more uh, exercise. Ooh, nice reverse, that's a solid one to get. Very nice to grade if you want. Lugia, fan favorite card, and a Barrascuda. So I'll take that. Two packs left out of this box though. Let's see if we can pull some fire, at least another full art. Um, that's what I'm kind of expecting. Maybe we'll get some last pack magic though, because we haven't had that in a while. And for the channel, we're just gonna keep on growing. Hopefully, obviously we do all modern stuff. Hopefully COVID stops being a thing and so we'll be able to have our Japanese stuff here. Uh, Amphros, very nice. More readily, I guess is the word. Cause really it, it's expensive to ship. And so uh, I'm not really, you know, my friend's not shipping things immediately when we get things purchased over there. Um, but hopefully that fixes things. A lot more Japanese and modern openings. Hopefully we can get our hands on anything uh, English because you all know the world we're in right now. Things are just crazy. C dot, no last pack magic, kind of a dud box. But you know what that means? It just means we need to get some more things to open. <laughs> all right guys, another ETB of evolutions we got the charizard one this time let's see if we can continue our charizard luck that would be absolute madness if we could but you know what time it is it's birthday time whoa these cards these code cards are backwards it's all good here we go we're gonna keep on pulling good things because the pokemon gods know it's my birthday and so we're gonna keep on pulling fire like that pikachu i'll take it haunter very nice Oh, right there, another Charizard. <laughs> Charizard EX, let's go. This one is a little more beat up. Look at that top corner there. Classic ETBs just being packaged roughly. Classic um, evolutions, just poor quality control. But hey, a Charizard to Charizard, I will take more of those all day long. <laughs> very nice card, very nice. Hopefully we keep on going with the polls. Oh, green code. We know this, uh, the green code doesn't mean you're not getting a nice reverse. Uh, the only reverse that's really worth it though is that Charizard. <laughs> so we will see what happens. I'm a chop and a far-fetched. Um, this time though, we will know. Whoa, really evolution packs just are like butter. So easy to open. Boom, there you go. Uh, let's see, more channel things. Hopefully we can get into some more vintage stuff or semi-vintage even. It'd be super fun to get into, nice Pikachu, um, like the black and white, heart gold, soul silver, diamond and pearl, like those times. Um, and I'd really like to figure out and get into um, lives. It'd be so fun to do box breaks with all of you um, and just anything live. Uh, it seems like that's what everyone wants nowadays. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'd really like to figure it out, get things set up nicely. It does take a little while. Tangela, far-fetched again. But yeah, expect that sometime next year, hopefully, um, if I can just figure it out. And what else, what else? Oh, something that I have missed are, ooh, Charmeleon, nice. Uh, mystery boxes. We haven't done a mystery box in a long time. Those were hot when I started YouTube last year. <laughs> but, ooh, Blastoise Spirit Link, Beedrill. Um, haven't happened in a really long time. So, 
may, maybe that can, uh, you know, become a thing. Come on, Pack, be friendly. This ETB's being a little rough to us, but it's all good. I forgot! I have Burning Shadows ETBs in my basement. I also have some more Champion's Path. Man, should we just go crazy and like, open the world? Beedrill! <laughs> Two packs left, we've only pulled that one Charizard EX. That is definitely the weakest Charizard to pull in Evolutions. But hey, a Charizard's a Charizard. What the heck? Why would they flip the code cards on me like that? Well, we know we're not getting anything unless we get that reverse in this pack. But hey, nostalgic artworks right here. Hey, Zapdos, I'll take it. And on the Electrode. Um, last pack magic for the ETB. But then uh, maybe we should throw in some Burning Shadows. If we're getting craziness here. Oh, okay. That's so weird, the code cards were just flipped around. Um, Charizard luck, we gotta continue it, right? So, hey, secret rare, very nice. Let's try Charmander, let's try a burn Pikachu, I can't complete my sentence here. Poliwag and a Starmie. Let's go, let's get a Burning Shadows uh, ETB and see what happens. <laughs> okay guys, I think I've officially lost it. Uh, I think I'm taking this birthday thing a little too far. Here are two code cards. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I didn't get one Burning Shadows. I got one Burning Shadows ETB and a Champion's Path ETB. So let's see if we can end this crazy premiere uh, video. Wow, that pack just fell apart. <laughs> With some crazy white card, um, Charizard Luck. Uh, Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, four cards. Let's see what we can do, guys. Thank you for being here this whole time. Seriously, you guys are all awesome. I love the Omash Nation and Pikachu. Hey, hey Marshall GX. <laughs> First hit of the box. We're, we'll switch off back and forth between the two. Um, but yeah, the Omash Nation is awesome. Like I said a little earlier, I would have never imagined being where we are right now. Um, and it's all thanks to you guys. So seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say it enough. And no other place I'd rather be. Venusaur! <laughs> Two hits in a row. Uh, we'll do a little battle. What one's better? Burning Shadows or uh, Champion's Path? What's it called? On my birthday, no other place I'd rather be than here with you guys. So excited, man, these cards are cold because <laughs> they've been uh, just kind of in a box locked away in my storage, uh, in my basement, but they feel really nice. Lena, Heracross, um, because Burning Shadows, just like Evolution, had a pretty rough printing run. <laughs> so bad, but um, yeah, guys, I think, oh man, hopefully this card's not that cool because it's pretty beat up. <laughs> Knowing my luck, it will be something cool. Whew. Uh, let's see. Lives, though, obviously I want to figure out Lycanroc. Not bad. Uh, I want to figure out how to do, like, real YouTube lives. Maybe do, like, actual... What the heck? Burning Shadows, your packaging. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, I do want to figure out... YouTube stuff, but I've been doing live box breaks and auctions on the WhatNot app, and I only see it continuing. Like, it's super fun. I think the guys over there like me. <laughs> um, Slow King, very badly centered. Lycanroc. We just pulled two Lycanrocs in a row. Um, and so if you want to get in on that action, all you have to do is download the WhatNot app, find me. Um, name is the same, Omash, and... Yeah, just participate in the lives. Um, currently, this month anyway, we're doing one every single week. Um, but I don't know how if that'll just last forever. But we'll find out. But it's super fun. The auctioning part is way fun. It's kind of just like being with a group of friends um, in Vegas or something. And you're just having a blast at the tables. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. <laughs> Big boy money being spent. But... Yeah, I think though, other than that, we'll just see what happens with the channel. <laughs> I remember one of you guys, Omash Nationers, <laughs> you were like, uh, at the beginning of this year, 5K by the end of 2020. I was like, oh, that would be absolutely insane. But 
Um, it's looking like we can get to 3K before the end of the year, which still is so awesome. And we'll see what 2021 brings. 25th anniversary, Gardevoir VMAX. Not bad, not bad. Whoa, as now it's a PSA 8. <laughs> Uh, I think this card looks pretty good though. Very nice. Definitely one of the better V Maxes to pull. Um, what's it called? What was I saying? Typical Mosh forgetting what he was talking about. Am I right? Oh, I think I was talking about uh, next year. There's going to be plenty of content. Crap, I did the pack trick wrong. <laughs> um, because of the 25th anniversary, every single modern set is going to be huge. Riolu, Lucario, and there's the energy. Because, um, yeah, we have no idea how crazy Pokemon is going to get um, next year. But you better believe I will be here to document it all. <laughs> Literally every single set, I'm going to do the best I can to get as much product as possible and continue our fun times here at the Omash Nation. Hopefully, oh, that's another thing I've been wanting to do. Um, I want to try and get my like business license here in Utah so that, what's it called? I can work directly with the distributor. Because literally, I don't have the time to be shopping around at all of the different Targets and Walmarts and card shops every single week. Like, it's tiring and most of the time I don't even find anything so it's just depressing <laughs> and so working with a distributor just directly would be amazing like not only would it be cheaper but I would not spend hours every single month trying to hunt down product and I think it'd be cool to kind of possibly allow access to you guys you guys could message me on Instagram or wherever and purchase some stuff um, for retail. Because we all know, oh crap, green code card. We all know it's super hard to uh, find product nowadays, but if I had a bunch and had people interested, I would totally order more and hook it all up. That'd be super cool. Um, so yeah, that's also a possibility in 2021. Just the possibilities are endless, guys. Kind of like it's looking like the possibilities of pulling another Charizard today is looking bleak. <laughs> but two Cursulas in the same box. That is when Pokemon is telling you to stop opening packs. <laughs> but guys, after we open these packs, I will get everything together. Oh, cripes and show all of the polls that we've done today because we have had a killer opening. Seriously, so much fun. I haven't opened this many packs in ever. Oh, we got a rainbow! Tapu Bulu GX, very nice. <laughs> Off-centered, really bad, but that's two rainbows this opening, guys. That is solid, very nice. I will take any rainbow ever. And yeah, especially out of an ETB because you are definitely not guaranteed a rainbow out of an ETB. So that's solid. It's not the Charizard, which we all want, but it's all good because Champion's Path ETBs are rough. <laughs> My good friend uh, Alex Hodges, he's opened over, I want to say, a thousand or so Burning Shadows packs, and he still hasn't been able to pull that shiny, or not the shiny, Rainbow Charizard. Um, and he's opened mostly ETBs. Like, absolutely crazy odds. This Charizard from this set is just way too hard to pull. And it's about to prove that even birthday luck uh, isn't enough <laughs> to pull the Charizard. What if we got two rainbows in a row? That'd be crazy. And last pack of this birthday celebration video. Let's see if we can end it strong. We just pulled one VMAX out of this box. Not expecting too much more, but it's all good. Whoa, that card's kind of beat up because we've had a blast together and I'm just excited for the future here at Omash Nation. Boom, nothing. But guys, 
let me just try to even get all of the polls that we pulled and have a nice little recap. <laughs> it's gonna take a little while. All right guys, just a few of the polls. Like literally so many crazy good polls today. And it's all thanks to you guys, so thanks for being here. Thanks for chatting this whole time. Seriously, it's been a blast. And I cannot believe some of our polls today. All oh, that hollow bleed. Where's the hollow bleed? Come on, I know you're there. There's a little something. There you go. <laughs> Why was that so hard to find? Very nice Mewtwo. Rainbow Reshiram, so awesome. Gardevoir, Charizard number one. Pikachu, Ampharos, Zamazenta, Darmanitan, Charizard number two. Oh man, I cannot believe our luck today, guys. Tapu Bulu Rainbow, and then so many awesome Tops cards. Oh, so good. I'm gonna get all of them graded just because they're classic. Czar number three, and the big boy. I cannot believe we got this. <laughs> Literally, guys, good potential for a 10. Probably won't get a 10, but it's all good. That's a beautiful card. Cannot wait to add it to my collection. So nice, guys. Wow. And we got all three of the big starters. Insane out of seven packs. You're all awesome. Thanks so much for being here. And I can't even tell you how I would have rather spent my birthday. You're all amazing. Thanks for your constant support and love here at Omash. I cannot wait for what the future holds. We're just gonna keep on growing together and have so many more fun openings and memories and just good times, guys. I hope you have the best rest of the day and I cannot wait to see you next time.